in that case uh, you have already got is the concept hello yes sir so what do you mean by supply chain anyone we have already gone through in case of production operation so the operation management too in the last module sir flow of finished goods or service to the into the final product the trans transformation process okay anyone chinu what do you mean by supply chain management Don't know, sir. Hey, don't know. You are already enrolled in case of operation management. Clear? It is. It is you. Uh, you are in already in specialization. Clear? So, in case of supply chain management, if you go to the definition point of view, supply chain management is the flow of goods and service basically. I repeat, supply chain management is the flow of goods and services, which include all processes. Processes means starting from your production activities, starting from your purchase of raw materials, starting from your uh, warehouse, starting from distributions, logistics. All processes should be directly involved or include in case of flow of goods or services, and that also transfer raw material into final product. And basically, if you go to the concept of uh, your supply chain management. Uh, it involves uh, active streaming of business through the supply chain activities or supply side activities to maximize customer value and gain competitive advantage if you take the recent cases particularly in case of agri product as you know the in case of uh, february 1 the union for budget is already passed and uh, the central government is directly focus on farmers especially reference to your agri product So just imagine in case of your COVID-19 situation or during the supply chain resilience, we have faced so many type of disruptions, especially reference to supply chain and even in case of logistics, the whole country is shut down. So just imagine in that case, if you take the small example of onion supply chains, in that case uh, we have observed the most of the pro production state like Maharashtra and some part of your. Uh, Uh, some interior part of Maharashtra, like uh, Nashik and some area of Bidar, they are very much enhanced to produce a huge amount of or a large volume of onion production. But the thing is, due to uh, COVID-19 situations, uh, the price, the basic price of the onion should be increased day by day, and it will, it will just touch the price of around 60 to 70 rupees per kilo. and it happened due to the improper supply chain the transportation so then uh, the demand is on higher side and the supply is very low in that case so this is one type of case that is similarly if you take uh, in case of supply chain of any fmcg product whether it should be a cosmetic product or whether it should be a uh, you consider it as a consumable product in that case so what will happen so it is the duty of uh, the company they must they must they must maintain a particular bridge between demand and supply so that is why if you think about supply chain management the simple definition is the flow of raw material or flow of goods or services which include all processes to making a uh, customer value and taking the competitive advantage that is known as supply chain management so also that uh, here <coughs> So, in case of supply chain management, or uh, if you go to the process flow of, uh, as I told in this particular uh, definition, supply chain management can be defined as the systematic flow of materials, good, and related information among suppliers, companies, retailer, and consumer. So, in case of uh, companies and the starting from the consumer, the supplier and retailer are play as intermediate. So, there are different type of flow of supply chain management is there. First is material flow. the second one is information or data flow at the last one is money flow so how the material the information and money flow from uh, your companies to consumers or vice versa in that case i will provide a depth on that particular things i just analyze this image if you see this particular image in this things the first is there is more number of vendor are available so they directly go for sourcing 
And in case of sourcing, particularly companies responsible for inbound and uh, some transportation, uh, inbound storage and transportation action is there. Then after operation activities is concerns, from operation activities, it directly go towards outbound storage or transportation. Then after it goes to the consumer distribution point, and finally it should be reached up to the consumers. That means the material should be start flow from vendor, then vendor to sourcing, and through sourcing the company will take the materials or raw material that should be go for operational activities, convert into finishing good, and after it, it should be reached up to the warehouse or distribution or store by the help of outbound activities or outbound storage it should be reached up to number of distribution hub and then distribution hub to consumers. Similarly, the information, that means uh, in case of consumer, the consumer is provide demand information to the company and company provide the demand information to the vendors. But in case of money, money should be flow from reverse way. That should be from the consumer to the company and company to the vendors through the sourcing or you can say that is through the outsourcing. So this is the whole scenario of your uh, supply chain management. Moving to the next part, then the most important entities of your supply chains. So this is the most important uh, entities. The first one is product, product. And then the next one is facilities. The third one is vehicle. The fourth one is route. So in case of production, the product, sorry, product, as you know, the product is a bunch of satisfactions. In that bunch, you can include every, every parameters like cost, weight, volume, weight, and you can say that is you, you can directly add some value in case of packaging on uh, in case of speedy deliveries this should be included in case of your product the next part is facilities uh, basically facilities that means you have arranged the warehouse the store uh, the uh, storage capacity the operating cost of that particular facility the production and demand that should be included in case of your facilities the next part here of uh, the most important thing uh, is concerned with supply chain network that is known as vehicles. That, uh, that basically include the operating cost of vehicles, the speed of that particular vehicle, the carry volume or the volume which uh, directly carry by the trucks or railways or your uh, flight even if in case of cargo ships that should be considered in case of vehicles. And the last one is that is known as your route. In case of route, you have to first fix the destination of your delivery. The next part is the distance. The distance is always optimized by the manufacturing point of view to reduce the cost of transportation. And the last and most important point is product delivery. So these are the four entities of your supply chain management. If you go to the next part, combination of these entities can model any supply chain anywhere in the world and simple or complex. So for example, in case of your iron ore or coke or coal mines. As you know, in case of Keunjar, Budville area is very much dense with your coal mines. So just imagine there are a thousand number of uh, different vehicles starting from trucks, railways, even if in case of small lorries are employed for transportation of this uh, large volume of coal from one place to other place. But the thing is that if you modify these four entities, I just uh, repeat those sentence. If you modify these particular entities, that you can directly explore the different design options in case of your supply chain model. Moving to the next one. Just a minute. We'll take the. Okay. The next part is that. That case of supply chain networks, uh, basically, is uh, it is uh, oh, sorry, supply chain as a network entities, a supply chain network between company and supplier to produce and distribute specific product to the final buyers. Point number two is this network include different activities, people, entities, information, and resources. Third point is the supply chain also represents steps to so the steps it takes to get the product and service from their original state to the customers. And basically these entities are include product facility and vehicle and routes. So whenever you think about your network entities, especially reference to supply chain management, what will happen? For example, if you take the example of dairy industries, 
especially reference to milk moon. So as you know, milk moon has already occupied some old diaries of government of Odisha. And the thing is that they are using some strategies, especially reference to speedy delivery as far as concerned with milk distributions. And the strategy is known as milk run methods. In that particular method, one level to optimize the transportation cost. As I told, the supply chain entities are include product, facility, vehicle, and route. In case of optimization of any four entities, so in case of milk, who milk who directly optimize the vehicle as well as the route. So in case of route distribution, he has implemented GPS on trucks, or you can say it is the milk tanker is uh, enhanced with GPS for easy tracking of vehicle from different route. The next part is that they directly, uh, you can say that is they directly assign the particular vehicle to number of destination for collection of raw milk. And this method is known as milk run method. So in this way, they are directly reduce the percentage of transportation cost. And they will directly enhance some more amount of potential customers as well as they also play a vital role in for making more competitive advantage in the market. Moving to the next part, if you go to the uh, second point, this network includes different activities, people, entities, information, and resources. As I told, in case of agri product, most of the companies, starting from your uh, reliance retails or whether it should be a future group, they are focused on different farmers' levels. These are the different resources. For example, in case of sunflower edible oils, the same thing in Maharashtra are uh, very much announced to produce a huge amount of edible oil, especially reference to sunflowers. And in this case, it is, uh, it is, uh, you can say that is, uh, they directly focus on the transportation cost. And then the way of their uh, reaching to number of destinations that is known as route optimization. And they have arranged a different type of facilities in case of warehouse or in case of this warehouse distribution management system is there. The next is they have preserved the things for the long period. In this regard, they directly enhance the supply chain network entities to expand or explore or you can say that is excel their business in the competitive advantage. Moving to the next one. Till that, any doubt? Anyone? No, sir. Okay. So we'll discuss one by one. So in case of product. Uh, moving to the next slide, the role and interaction between each entities. As I told, uh, the entities have product, facilities, vehicle, and route. So in case of product, what product does the market want? And how much of which product should be produced and by when? And the most important thing, these activities include the creation of master production schedule. As I told, in the uh, past semester, we have already, sorry, uh, in the, uh, Past semester, we have already finished uh, this particular uh, content that is known as master production schedule. So in case of master production schedule, uh, there are uh, three types of basic inputs are there. One is bill of material is there, inventory status file is there, and your proper, uh, uh, that is known as aggregate, planning, uh, aggregate production planning is there for an intermediate uh, range or for a particular period. And this schedule is account the so plant capacity, that means main machine material should be arranged. And they will also enable the workload balancing in case of your production activities. And some, uh, it also balancing the quality control level, or can you can say it is, uh, they are also uh, responsible for quality control. And they also provide some equipment maintenance. So in this way, the product will be uh, refined in a such a way that it should be reached up to the quality level. And that should be uh, compete in the market we can say that if they will sustain or they will survive or, success or sustain in the market. Moving to the next part, the facility. Basically, facility is directly deals with, uh, that means, uh, uh, that is uncertainty or any kind of buffer, especially reference to your supply chain. But uh, if you go to the point number one, what inventory should be stocked at each stage of in a supply chain? And the next part is how much inventory should be held as a raw material and semi finished or finished good. The primary intention or purpose of this particular inventory is to act as a buffer against uncertainties in case of supply chain. So, how are you holding inventory that can be more expensive? So, whatever optimal or you consider inventory level or reorder point should be considered in this particular case. So, for facility arrangement, if you take the case of your uh, 
एफ सी आई ऑपरेटेड गोडाउन स्पेशली रेफरेंस टू क्रॉप एरिया राइस शुगर ऑल द थिंग देट शुड बी केप्ड फॉर ऑन सर्टिनिटी इन केस ऑफ डाउन्स यूर डिमांड एंड सप्लाई स्पेशली रेफरेंस टू सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट तो वेन एवर एनी काइंड ऑफ स्कैरिसिटीज अकर इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दे विल डायरेक्टली प्रोवाइड और दे विल मेंटेन द बैलेंस बिटवीन सप्लाई एंड यूर डिमांड and if you kept for a longer period that would be very expensive especially reference to cold storage uh, in case of agri product especially reference to warehouse in case of uh, uh, pharmaceutical product they are very much expensive if you hold for a longer period and that also include uh, it is the duty of uh, those uh, supply chain managers or your uh, operation manager they will optimally use the different level of inventory as well as reorder point whenever the demand will be arise moving to the next one the next entity is your vehicles so in case of vehicle how would you, the inventory will move from one supply chain location to other locations so basically uh, for the safest mode or for reduce the cost of transportation air flight and truck delivery is generally fast and reliable but uh, they are very much expensive nowadays due to uh, rapidly rise in case of your diesel price and in case of shipping by sea or shipping by rail is much expensive but usually involve lo longer transit times and more on certainties so if you go by shipping or railway it need very much main power for loading or unloading activities and in that case uh, you have to go for more amount of contract negotiation with uh, the government authorities as well as the shipping authorities so this uncertainty must be compensated by stocking high level of if you purchase a bulk of uh, amount of inventory or bulk amount of good and sell goods in that case you can prefer seaways as well as railways also so for, when it is better to use the mode of transportation that means you have to choose that is why most of the company are directly go for e bidding and through e bidding they are they are directly select uh, some third party agency in case of transportation as well as logistic activities by employing their vehicles moving to the next part the last one that is the most important part that is the route so when uh, so required to facility for production and the inventory storage be located and where the most co cost efficient location for production and storage of inventory should be consider should existing facility used or new one which built on this decision are made then they determine the possible path available for product to flow through the delivery to the final customer so in case of route if you take the cases of particularly reference to flipkart flipkart has already established a particular mother distribution hub near your salepur area and the basic reason of establishing the mother of distribution hub especially reference to your twin city like katak and bhubneswar in that case they will localize they are easy to optimize the different route in case of uh, good delivery uh, for the potential customer even if they are also focusing in case of festivities for enhance the mode of uh, delivery in the speedy way and the safest way so that is why route optimization is very much important as far as concern with you the entity job supply chain management if you to take the case case study of zomato and swiggy in that case the delivery uh, executives play a vital role uh, specially reference to route and uh, optimize the route uh, in uh, it is a responsibility of uh, the operation executives who had Uh, you know, on a daily basis, or or in case of depending upon the demand is increased, we will always make a particular schedule for uh, more amount of delivery uh, in the form of or in the mode of uh, speedy delivery or in the mode of safe deliveries. That is the most important things. Then moving to the next part. The next part is value chain focus on your supply chain. Just analyze this one. So if you go to the first point, supply chain refer to the integration of all activities. As I told, the supply chain basically uh, the transfer of raw material or flow of uh, material in the form of goods and services that include all kind of processes. And these processes are directly reflect the different ty type of activities. So in these particular activities involve the process of sourcing, procurement, conversion, and logistics. So these are the point in case of process of sourcing so you know uh, for example in case of flipkart there are few uh, there are infinite number of suppliers are there so these are the different sources from where flipkart directly or indirectly purchase the particular product but the thing is in case of uh, procurement or that is directly effort to purchase this is the second stage of your value chain where you can directly go add some value 
or through or directly add some value to focus the supply chain how the value should be focused on supply chain the purchase department is very much responsible for for choosing the right quantities right quality and with the exchange of right price that is the their response or basic objective function of purchase department then after uh, conversions uh, basically if you take the example of conversion process especially reference to manufacturing system or any production systems from the sourcing by the help of purchase department the raw material directly uh, reach up to the industries and industries responsible or the production system is responsible for convert those in into a output so that should be finished good or those should be unfinished good and after that by the help of logistic activities it should be reach up to the number of destination so this uh, 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 starting from these activities, uh, you can see that is the process of sourcing. The next part is your procurement, then conversions, and the last one is logistic. We can directly add some value on this particular platform, starting from sourcing, purchase, and the conversion and logistic part. If you think about the other hand, the value chain implies the series of business operations with utilities added to goods and services offered by the firm, so as to enhance the customer value. for example in case of uh, if you take the thing about some logistic company especially reference to copper and sons your sepex your fedex they they directly put some value in case of logistic activities how they put some value the thing is that they are providing uh, different type of cartons for safe transportation of your goods and services they also provide your bubble polymer packings and some cases if you think about those dimension and specification they also provide wooden boxes even metal boxes for transportation of huge or large volume of machinery from one place to other in this regard what will happens this uh, value addition especially reference to your packaging through the logistic it will, it will directly enhance customer satisfaction or enhance customer values moving to the next part supply chain is the interconnection of all function that start from the manufacture of raw material into finished good and sorry and ends when the product reach the final customers so as i know as i told it is a particular integration of all activities whether it should be manufacturing of finished good and it should be reach up to the final customers in that case you can directly add some value through the supply chains so what kind of value the so value addition in case of choosing uh, good quality of raw material then is next part is good process should be implement or good enhanced technology should be implemented in a such way that the product should be reach up to the quality marks and finally through the logistic activity it should be reach up to the final customers moving to point number 4 the value chain on the on the other hand is a set of activities that focus on creating and adding values So we have already discussed the particular case studies how the value addition is done in case of uh, if you take the example of cadbury chocolate that the wrapper should attract more number of potential customer but the thing is that that wrapper will provide the uh, primary safety layer of that particular product similarly if you go to the beverage industry most of the beverage industry are use glass bottles in that glass bottle the glass bottle will provide and it should be clearly visible the product and that will attract the product the next part is that it will preserve for a longer period of uh, for example in case of 3 month or 6 month especially reference to packaged drinking waters in that case this edu uh, this value addition directly enhance uh, your supply chains the next is to uh, these two network help to provide quality product to the customer at a reasonable price and most of the time supply chain is Uh, that is just post uh, post with the supply chain. I just correct that one. That is just post with the supply chains. Moving to the next one. Then yes. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. When a logistic company is thinking of adding a value to its supply chain, then obviously it consumes with the. Uh, it means definitely the uh, expenses will be grow. then how sir they will control the expenses along with adding the value to their logistic yes yes it's a good questions uh, if you take uh, specially reference to some logistic company uh, for example you are uh, transporting huge amount of things uh, 
if you take the case uh, study of your uh, it is known as sager transport private limited companies the jet company is own, that is the only one company assigned by tata group for transportation of uh, your semi finished or unfinished steel from jamshedpur plant to vijak port so just imagine the uh, the the volume of uh, transportation is very large because each and every day around 800 to sorry around 80 to 100 number of trucks would be pass uh, in case of twin city for uh, for taking this uh, huge amount of consignment so whenever you take the advantages of uh, bulk amount of materials uh, you have to bear or you have to add some value on that particular things suppose uh, in that case you have already observed some trucks especially reference to tata steel those who are employed in that case they are using some covers especially reference to alloy steel whenever the transport uh, the part of alloy steel or any kind of machinery uh, i will tell another example in case of uh, adding value to uh, or uh, in case of value chain focus on supply chain management as i know the transportation company like kapur and sons this is the only one company who is responsible for shifting uh, your household even if your uh, uh, four wheelers even if your bikes from one place to other place but if you go to the indian railway point of view in case of indian railway point of view if you uh, shifted your bike from bhubneswar to mumbai or bhubneswar to pune area uh, there are uh, the process is very lengthy so how the process is lengthy because uh, whenever you uh, go for the appointment or go for the go for booking your uh, that is known as uh, the value should be calculated as for your uh, cost of bike and according to the cost of bike they will charge us but in case of uh, just think about the privatized company especially reference to copper and sons how they adding value the thing is that they will provide uh, insurance against your scratch and damp and you can say that is uh, if any scratch is found during transportation they are bound to provide all kind of insurance after the consignment is reached to the up to you so this value they are not doing the things for a single product they are go for the bulk that is why in case of <coughs> sorry in case of value addition they just uh, uh, from my point of view uh, they just uh, if you go to large volume of uh, consignment in that case the value should be considered or, or as far as uh, as far as concern with your question that you 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 are telling that the expenses will be increased now how the valuation will be focus on supply chain so whenever you focus on large amount of consignment in that case the value addition is directly enhance the supply chains as the cases like supply chains uh, especially reference to transportation of household uh, the company like your indo area group the company like corporate sons the company like cfx the company like uh, you can say that is the sager private limited companies there yes any other questions abhishek i know this uh, do two topics or two subject is very much uh, dense with theories but the thing is the you people are must understand the concept clear so why value addition is there because you have to attract more number of potential customers clear so as i told in case of packaging suppose uh, uh, specially reference to isro So uh, in the year 2018-19, ISRO has ordered uh, the space satellite uh, aerospace engine that is uh, manufactured in Maharashtra. It is uh, just वो इतना बड़ा था तो the machine is in is very weak. You just you cannot be imagine because it could totally cover the two lane of national highway. So it is difficult to go for uh, its own transport. That is why the ISRO is employed. a third party agency for transportation of that particular big vehicles and just imagine they will be reach up to uh, your sri hori uh, in that uh, that will took around one year for reaching that particular place and each and every day they will pass around 5 uh, kilometers because the, whenever they pass on the national highway the total road is blocked So in this in this regard uh, if you think about the value addition which is directly focus on supply chain there is no particular company is assigning or the, there is no company is taking the responsibility for transport activity and only only that particular companies uh, uh, directly customize their trucks into a long uh, uh, 
ट्रेलर ट्रक्स तो कंपनी ने क्या किया उस ट्रक को कस्टमाइज किया इट मीन्स दे आर डायरेक्टली पुट सम कैपिटल टू और यू कैन से दैट इज एडिंग सम वैल्यू टू दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रक्स एंड दैट आफ्टर रेडी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रक दे डायरेक्टली टेक द मशीनरी फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र टू सी ओ रिकोटर्स क्लियर तो इन दिस रिगार्ड दे इफ द अमाउंट ऑफ कंसाइनमेंट इज वेरी हाई और अमाउंट कंसाइनमेंट इज वेरी इन केस ऑफ लार्ज वॉल्यूम यू कैन डायरेक्टली एड सम वैल्यू इज इट क्लियर Yes. Yeah. Okay. So similarly, I will tell the next case in case of your uh, uh, that uh, why um, um, Umfed is uh, degrading their uh, profit generation or decrease uh, day by day decrease their profit generation as compared to the private age companies. Just think about uh, the whole activities involved in case of supply chain of uh, your Umfed. The thing is that it is authorized, so it is undertaken by government of Odisha initially. and uh, operated by uh, your some uh, bureaucrats or some ias is uh, employed for uh, uh, taking the responsibility to operate those activities of uh, umfed so in that case uh, initially what happened during uh, rainy season umfed is not receive the raw milk and as you know in case of milk production is higher side during rainy season So during that day, uh, uh, just imagine uh, Umfed is directly reject the and uh, the company like Milk Moo and Pragati Dairy, they are receive huge amount of milk, and by adding some value, that means they are directly convert into different segment. Segment of product that is curd is there, your sweet curd is there, then cheese is there. and in this way they are segregate the product and they are using only one vehicle for collection of raw milk raw milk that means they are optimize the transportation they are employed only one vehicles the cost of vehicle is minimum the cost of maintenance the cost of fuel are also minimized and the thing is that they are receiving huge amount of raw milk that that means if you add some value in case of conversion process especially reference to milk industry or dairy industry that means we have more number of product mix is there one is curd is there one sweet curd is there cheese is there and then this uh, pasteurized milk is there in this regard they are generating more profit as compared to government undertaking dairies so is the concept of value chain focus on supply chain moving to the next part if you think about your sea food transportations or livestock transportations clear so in case of sea food or livestock especially reference to fish or your live goat transportation for flesh in different neighboring state so how the fish should be transported from the place like your telangana state or andhra pradesh state to different neighboring states especially uh, in case of west bengal or especially in case of assam especially in case of odisha so we people are consume huge amount of uh, fresh fish from the uh, from our neighboring state like then telangana and andhra pradesh but the thing is that if the fish is not fresh we just simply reject the product and go to the alternative way for adding value to the livestock they will customize the vehicles so how they customize the vehicle they directly convert the whole truck into a water pool so lo kya kiye pura matlab truck ko water pool mein convert kar diye and you have already observed so many number of trucks uh, and they are mounted with number of pumps and that pump is recirculate the water inside the tank and they will reduce the uh, time of delivery that means same truck is used and the number of driver will be changed so in this regard they will be directly take the consignment from the place like andhra pradesh to odisha even if they are focusing on west bengal so this kind of value additions if the fish is fresh you can uh, you can increase the price of uh, uh, whenever you go to the market you directly increase because the the fish is fresh and they are alive Is it clear? Yes, sir. Chinu nai. Yes, sir. Okay. In uh, whenever you travel towards uh, Khordha or travel towards uh, uh, some part of Balas or Bhadrak, there are so uh, huge amount of goodwill uh, nearby the national highway, and these goodwill owners are directly charges uh, for providing fresh water to the uh, uh, fish water tanks. Clear. and uh, 
uh, during this uh, transportation, uh, the vehicle is already uh, that is known as equipped with more number of pumps, and that pump is recirculate the fresh water inside the water tank. That means the livestock remain fresh for a uh, for around 24 hours, whenever it's reached for the delivery point. That is the value addition in case of your supply chain, especially reference to livestock. To think about in case of your fresh uh, meat, in case of uh, mutton or in case of chicken also. So initially what has happened, it is difficult to uh, take the transportation around 500 or 600 kilometer, especially reference to fresh meat uh, in case of chicken and mutton. So that is why, in case of value addition, they directly uh, take the livestock from one place to other places. And same thing is adding more value to the supply chain network as well as if, in case of competitive advantage. Moving to the next one. Yes, the next one is your, uh, just a minute. Okay, the next one is value chain that refer range of activity and that add value at every single step in design, producing, delivering a quality of product to the customer. Now it is clear to all in case of value chain that I just repeat the sentence. In the case of value chain, but to range of activity that add value at every single step in designing, producing, and delivering a quality product to the customers. Point number two, value chain analysis is used to evaluate the activities within and around the organization relating to its ability to provide value for the money, good and services. So if this is one part, part of your value chain directly focus on supply chain. If you think about the manufacturing organizations, in case of manufacturing organizations, the first part is resourcing, then procurement or purchase, then the conversion, and the next part is logistic. The same thing happen in case of your organization also. So whenever they receive the good quality of raw material and it is uh, uh, by adding the or you can say that it, it should be done through the value chain analysis that basically evaluate different kind of activities. That means uh, if you employed highly skilled people, if you employed a highly enhanced technology or method for conversion process, if you employed articulate robot for assembly process, if you employed a robot for loading unloading uh, process, that means that directly uh, they have the ability to provide the different kind of value for money and goods and services also. So these kind of value should be added to enhance the supply chain management. Okay. Moving to the next part. Just a minute. Then the next is, uh, if you go to the next part, uh, so there is uh, the concept of value chain analysis was first evolved by Michael Porter, or that is known as Porter Analysis, in the year 1985, in his own book that is Competitive Advantage, especially reference to your supply chain management. And in each op opinions, two major steps involved in case of value chain analysis. One is identification of individual activities. As I told in the uh, previous slide, that um, the identification of individual activities, starting from the uh, sourcing, then for procurement, then conversion, then logistics. You have to identify where you should go for or adding some values. The next part is analyzing the value addition in each activity and related to its farm competitive strength. So what are the farm competitive, competitive strength? The pricing strategies. The next part is the speedy delivery, the, the market. These are the things should be considered. So if you think about the uh, Michael Porter split the business equities into two main categories that is known as uh, primary activities and second one is supportive activities. We'll discuss one by one. In case of primary activities, we have inbound logistics. So basically, the logistics is uh, uh, that is that should be initiated inside the organization. It deal, deals with receiving, storing, and distribution of inputs. The next activities that is manufacturing operations. That is the conversion of inputs into finished goods. The next part is outbound logistics that should be operated uh, outside the organization. It concerns with collection, storage, and distribution of product on services to the customer. The next activity is marketing and sales. In case of marketing and sales, it involves activities that create awareness among the general public regarding the product. And the last one is service. All those activities that increase the value of product or services. 
So can you give which company is directly go for highway hoarding, especially reference to marketing and sales? Anyone? Sir, more of the automobile. Automobile, okay. Sarthak? Which company should directly focus on the highway hoardings? Around 70 to 80 percent of sales promotion activities is done through highway hoardings. Anyone? Which company? Chinu? Obisek? Anuksha? Sir, uh, cement companies. Okay, automobile companies, cement companies. Sir, yeah. all the companies are this process. So my question is for a specific companies. Okay, I'll give two options. Sugi Jamato. So maybe Swiggy because its revenue goes uh, higher than Jamato. No, no, it's it's Jamato. Okay, Jamato is the only one company who always go for highway hoodings. Clear. So if you go to the metro cities, they directly put a huge hoardings uh, regarding some Bollywood quotes and uh, some recent activities quotes on that particular hoarding. Clear. The thing is that for sales promotion activities, they are adding value in that particular case. Is it clear? The matter is the only one company who directly focus on value addition through highway hoardings. And if you think about the highway hoarding costs, especially reference to urban city, which which uh, which area or which hoarding is very much costly in case of urban Anyone? Bhubaneswar mein jo hoarding lagta hai, advertise hoarding, sabse costly hoarding kaun sa hai? So maybe from Rasul got to jo hum jate hain, Bani Vihar ke taraf, us side jo hoarding hai. Nahi, wo nahi hai. Anyone? Bani Vihar ke side mein jo sab hoarding se, bahut sare ho. Bani Vihar ke near master, that is, yes, yes, that is near master canteen. Okay, that, that. Cost of that hoarding is around 5 lakh rupees per, per month. In front of master canteen railway stations, that hoarding cost is 5 lakhs per month. It's clear. Just imagine, just imagine in case of political uh, promotions, how they will pay that huge amount for in case of hoardings. Moving to the next one, which company do not go for marketings? Which garment company do not go for marketing or the expenditure spent against marketing that is zero by which company? Sir, Zara. Yes, that is Zara. Zara do not go for marketing. The percentage of expenditure spent by Zara that is zero percentage. Yes. Moving to the next part. So these are the things basically include uh, starting from inbound logistics. Here, those, I just repeat those things. These are the logistics which is involved inside the organization or inside the manufacturing unit. That means you receive the goods, storing the goods and distributing for or distributing of input inside the organization that is known as inbound logistics. So basically inbound logistics are uh, uh, enhanced by uh, employment of different kind of vehicles inside the organization. Okay. Uh, for example, forklift are basically employed for taking the wooden block from one place to other place. Then small lorry are employed for uh, for receiving the goods uh, from outside and for storing. Uh, in that case, automated guide vehicle, EOT cranes are employed for inbound logistic activity. And but in case of outbound logistic, it is directly concerned with collection and storage and distribution of product and service to the customer. So whenever outbound logistics or we are talking about outward logistics, in that case, it is beyond the organization. That means to directly receive and collect the goods from the com company and it should be directly delivered to the customers. 
the next is um, uh, in case of um, uh, service all those activities that increase value of product or services so in this case i will tell uh, specially reference to royal enfield specially reference to mahindra and uh, mahindra the concept is known as mahindra rights so uh, in case of mahindra rights which basically include on road assistance to their particular vehicles to so those who purchase drugs or four wheelers in that case whenever or any any part of india if you face any kind of difficulties in your vehicles you can directly assi assist to the mahindra rights and the mahindra rights they will provide all kind of starting for fueling starting fueling of engine oils and then uh, maintaining the engineering engines they also provide the on on road technical assistance to your vehicle and same thing happen in uh, same concept is considered in case of your oil and fuel also they will charges around 3000 rupees for the particular bike and you can directly avail any kind of tipping technical dif difficulty whenever you travel uh, from one place to other place they will provide uh, all kind of assistance including uh, the uh, fixing of your engines or refueling of engine oils uh, even if uh, refueling of uh, tires or the re replacement of tire they provide all kind of facility so this value addition uh, basically include in case of your primary activities they directly provide or increase the value of product as well as services if you take other examples especially reference to air condition company like blue star or carrier they will provide three year sales after service uh, facilities for the uh, or uh, different segment of customer whether should be belong to corporate or whether should be belong to business or whether should be a single proprietor in that case so this uh, value addition in the form of uh, services or you can say the sales after services that will enhance or increase the product value as well as the services also moving to the next part the next one is uh, your supportive activities so in case of supportive activities help the primary activities include your uh, procurement then technology development human resource management and infrastructure so out of the four the most important thing is infrastructures because in that particular infrastructure of whether should be for storing or the for distribution uh, whether for uh, buffer management especially reference to inventory uh, the infrastructure is play a vital role that is why most of the company are focusing to establish their own infrastructure in, in every region or any part of india and by the help of this primary activities and supporting activities you directly enhance the value chain uh, which is focused for your supply chain activities so moving to the next one so this is the typical uh, difference between value chain versus your supply chain i just increase the font size so if you compare the meaning uh, especially reference to supply chain the integration of all activities involve procurement conversion and logistic of product is known as supply chain but in case of value chain define as the series of activities that add value to the product the so supply chain basically originated from operation management and value chain basically originated from business management and in case of supply chain the concept is conveyance but in case of value chain that is value addition in case of sequence the product request and supply chain uh, sorry product request supply chain finally it should be reach up to customer but in case of value chain customer request then value chain then last one is product if you think about the objective uh, uh, in case of supply chain it is customer satisfaction is uh, this is the motto but in case of uh, value chain the gaining competitive advantage uh, through the implementation of uh, value addition especially reference to your business management so moving to the next one okay here the uh, small case studies the suguna food is uh, famous for what anyone anyone suguna food is famous for what chicken 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 okay chino what is the breed of uh, suguna chicken what is the what is the name of uh, breed of suguna chicken or suguna foods in one 
sir broiler okay broiler <coughs> so here we are discussing about value chains uh, specially reference to sugna foods uh, that is uh, if you go to the tagline breeding trust and growing together uh, this particular company is providing fresh flesh of uh, your uh, that is known as boiler layer these are the breed produced by sugna foods जो बॉयलर और लेयर तुम लोग खाते हो दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सुगुना फूड्स एंड इफ यू गो टू द कंपनी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू जस्ट थिंक अबाउट द विथ ओवर 30000 फार्मर सुगुना नेटवर्क इज ओनली ग्रोइंग स्टार्टेड विद द विजन ऑफ एनर्जाइजिंग रूरल इंडिया मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनी आर डायरेक्टली कोको स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम योर कोको कोला इवन इफ सुगुना फूड्स इवन इफ यू थिंक अबाउट आईटीसी दे आर ऑलवेज फोकस फॉर रूरल इंडिया The Suguna is successful in this the life of many rural households, and it is the number one boiler producer. The breed name is Boiler. Then after he produced Layer in the in that particular segment, and the uh, Balagrav Swami S Balagrav Swami is an Indian business who, who established Suguna Holdings Private Limited. The company name is Suguna Holdings Private Limited. The company own feed mills, research development center, training program, processing plant, hatchery. efficient supply chain management technology infrastructure they are the indicator that you need to look works out in case of suguna family successful poultry farms but just imagine imagine today scenario suguna reaches the height of 7800 crore rupee turnover in a particular financial year so these are the breed of suguna foods the first one is boiler it is the only one boiler producer across india clear jo chicken tum log khate ho wahi hai boiler the next breed is known as layers the thing about uh, how the value addition is uh, integrated in case of your poultry farms so basically uh, suguna is uh, they providing different uh, ingredients uh, for feeding of boilers and layers for feeding they directly go for sourcing so here you can see yes please zoom a bit it's not visible okay is it clear yes sir okay so in case of uh, sourcing specially reference to feeding they are directly sourced from farm farmer as you know the sugna has directly registered around 30000 farmer from the rural area they are the producer of corn soybean meals and other feed ingredient and that should be directly sourced to the industries where they use the feed meal and mix the feed rations for their breeder farms even if for either hatchery farms clear yeah. the so one part is directly go to weeder farm another farm is go to hatching farm then after they produce hatchery and in the form of boiler and layer that goes to the grow out house and grow out house to different uh, processing plant for fresh chickens if they found any kind of byproduct they directly go to rendering plant and the fresh are directly go to distributor retailer grocery food service institution and export qualities so if you go to the supply chain starting from sourcing then feeding mills then feed mixer is there then after getting the uh, mix uh, feed they should be directly go to the primary breeder companies as well as some hatchery companies from that hatchery company they directly go for the growth house and growth house to the market ready for receive the boiler and in case of boiler they directly go for processing plant where they convert uh into the fresh uh, place of chickens up to the different distributor so starting whenever think about the different vertical as well as integrated poultry farm point of view in that case for example they directly collect the different corn soybean meals and other feed ingredient from farm that means if you employ the value addition from farmer to the feed meals you have to directly assign some vehicles in a such a way that that should be reach on a timely manner or safely manner to the feed mills because in uh, in case of breeding farm specially reference to boiler and layer in a irregular interval you have to feed the particular breed whether it should be boiler or or whether it should be layer farm then after uh, you have to maintain a particular breeder farm for for one segment is chicken there one segment is egg there for egg or hatchery segment in that case you directly add some value how the value should be added in case some primary activities you add or you directly equip with more number of 
lighting arrangement is there setting arrangement proper sanitization of uh, this breed is required during bird flu or any kind of natural disaster or natural calamities uh, especially in case of cold season uh, you need to focus on these particular poultry farms because during uh, they are unable to resist the particular temperature especially reference to jammu kashmir especially reference to north part of india then after in case of growing house you also add some values uh, in case of uh, transportation of uh, your uh, boiler to the market in that case you also add values so starting from the you can see in the particular figure the blue lines starting from the feed mills then mixed feed rations the hatchery then breeding farm these are adding value to this particular supply chain whenever uh, you directly send to the distribution point or retail point or even in, in case of food service institution or for in case of export moving to the next part in case of portly uh, portly vertical integration so as you know uh, these are basically includes the uh, first one is uh, parent breeder farms there from parent breeder farm to hatchery then hatchery to contract farm is there so in case of contract farm they are assigned for feed productions so if you think about suguna foods they are directly enhance of rural india in case of rural india they uh, provide the contract to the uh, some small commercial uh, um, commercial agency or commercial partner for providing feed production as well as for contract to the farm in that particular case the next part is slaughtering or processing plant and finally should be reach up to the uh, market uh, in case of your distribution point or in case of retail or any kind of uh, grocery point in that case so the starting from the contract farm to this market from this known as wet market here and in case of uh, adding value that means you are providing veterinary service to that particular contract farm you are also providing ad value uh, in case of uh, specially reference to your feed productions so this is known as uh, your value addition specially reference to suguna foods if you have a doubt and can you can ask anyone yes sir sir ye yes. pura next class mein kar denge kyunki aur ek baar samjhana padega fir fir se ek baar are it is very it is very simple suppose so, ye ye to matlab ki suguna fir jo ye to contract farming mein bhi karte hain ki direct chicks hai dete honge farmers ko fir farmers usko grow